Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and today we are going to be doing a variety of things, but uh, one of the major things that I'm going to be focusing on is updating my refining, or my mining vehicle, so that we can actually mine and refine at the same time with this new design. How's that for rhymes? So obviously we've been uh, turning some of our focus towards building our base and we've quickly, very, very quickly run out of all the materials that we've uh, kind of stocked up on. We need more of this extruded metal. I, I can't fill in this gap here and I want to expand this out for uh, some more. I also want a lot more wood because I have some grand ideas for how I want to build this i want to expand uh this lower area down here so i asked you guys for your opinions on what you'd like to see as far as like parking areas or other areas in here and just how the layout of the base could possibly go and i got some inspiration from those ideas also i asked you guys to come up with a name and one of the names that i really like is scrap manor so we're gonna call this scrap manor so there's a couple of things i want to do uh oops i accidentally deleted some blocks here i just got myself a new mouse so i'm getting used to the feel of this new mouse um, so what we're going to be doing is a lot of different things. I, I've already like started saving up some stuff. Oh, we can get some of this wood back because what I'm going to do over here. Remember when I was saying I wanted to color this so it looks like the sand? Turns out sand is a thing that we actually have and sand looks a lot like sand as well. So I'm going to replace this wood thing with a sand thing instead because I think that's just going to go much better as far as blending in with the sand. And it just so happens that I already have a ton of sand because I was expecting to, I was expecting glass to be something I was going to make a lot more of when it comes to the pipes and the tubes. But I just haven't really made a lot of glass, but I made a ton of sand in preparation for maybe having to make a lot of glass. So luckily for me, I already had all of this material. So we're going to replace these um, merge sections with sand. And I got to be honest, it actually... I mean, it, it definitely, it blends in better. Hold on, what if I paint the sand, sand color? How is this gonna look? Oh, that's way better. Yeah, that is definitely way, way better. That, it seems a bit of a ridiculous thing, doesn't it? To paint the sand, sand colored? Okay, so now this actually allows me, since I have so much more sand material, which I might need to get some more, but uh, we had the issue of the hay bots, they spawn over here sometimes, and then when they try to walk up over here, they get stuck, and then they hit into this area. And sand, I think, is like the worst durability. Sand is one durability. So if a hay bot just steps on this thing too hard, it's probably going to get destroyed. So we definitely don't want the hay bots hitting it in any way. So here, let's move this up. There we go. And I will also replace this entire section. And now I think I should be able to create like a little bit of a sand island step thing. Kind of like I did with my catapults uh, over here. See steps like this? I'm going to try to do that so that way that they'll walk up onto the sand and towards my base. Rather than walking into the sand and trying to hack their way through it. Whoa! Oh, there's a raid! I forgot that there's a raid tonight! No! <laughs> I harvested all my crops and totally forgot about the raid! Oh, wow. I just got ambushed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, you're hitting the thing. He was hitting the sensor. Why was he hitting the sensor? You guys are doing all the things. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's laggy. Hold on, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of some of the collisions here. There we go. Holy cow, I got totally ta- There needs to be some type of alarm, like automatic. There needs to be some type of notification that a raid is happening. Oh. Oh, man. That was, that was alarming. Or actually, that wasn't alarming, which was the problem. I didn't get alarmed. Is, uh, no, no, don't hit those. Those are not for hitting. Am I going to have to build stairs down into the water? I, I really need the ramp pieces over here. I hear something else. What? How did you get in here? Did anybody see how that happened? What? I am completely confused right now. Also, was this always missing? When did that happen? All right, I need more concrete. I need more metal. I need I need a lot of materials. Um, 
Well, that was an experience. That was a really interesting experience. But we survived. Scrap Manor lives on with very, very minimal damage. So I'm going to continue uh, making... Look, he even... They even... Wait, how did that get hit? Just this? Or did I do that? I don't know. I am very confused now. I am... It's hard to know what's going on in this world anymore. Alright, everything looks fine there. And for anybody coming up over here, I think that'll be fine. And I don't know why they... I don't know why they damaged right there, but hopefully that's not going to be a regular thing. We are not going to have to deal with any more raids tomorrow, fortunately. So we can just focus on our building stuff. All right, there we go. I've done this side now, which looks much more sandy. Oh, hold on. Let me fill in this awkward gap right here. All right, hopefully this will prevent them doing any damage on this side. I don't really know. They've been doing a lot of things I don't expect them to do lately. All right, so before we start moving things around and such, uh, let me give you guys a little bit of an idea of my idea <laughs> for what I want to do with this. So I'm thinking um, we have like the horseshoe shape where we can come in, or I think I come in from that side more often. We come in from that side, we can come through here, we can stop underneath here, drop off whatever we need, and then we can drive right on back out. But I'm thinking for parking, what I might want to do is um, I might want to have this kind of horseshoe shape expand straight this way as well so that uh, a vehicle can be parked straight up here. And then if we need to go, we can get in the vehicle and we have a straight shot to the drawbridge pretty much. So what I'm thinking is like expanding just straight in this direction out. And then it can go kind of like around like another loop. There could be like a double horseshoe, a layered horseshoe pattern, but that's going to require so much more material be because I was last episode, I was kind of thinking this could be like a parking garage and then our entire base is upstairs, but I don't really want to do that because I really like the idea of having a open floor with the water underneath in like the main part of the base. That's kind of like the the relaxation area and maybe I was even thinking about making like a um, a glow bug uh, pool because so far I think the glow bugs eventually die when they're out of water for too long. I don't know if it's because they're out of water for too long. I just know that my glow bugs end up dying after I've had them for a while. So I want to experiment with making an underwater glow bug exhibit. We're going to need sources of glow poop. All right, so now I want to move this workshop uh, up on the second floor where it's intended to be. And I need another toilet. Do I have another toilet? I have other seats. Do I want to use one of these? I guess I could use a saddle seat, right? These saddle seats really aren't going to serve much of another, another purpose because they're not even driver's seats. So I'll go ahead and just put this saddle seat right there. And then I want to put the workshop right here pretty much. All right, so that's the center point over here. I think that's the center point right there. Yeah, this is the center point right here. All right, you ready for this? Let me actually get my lift out. <laughs> oh, I could have grabbed that with the weld tool. All right, we're going to put this down right here. Oh, wrong way. So now if I weld this up to that wood block that I placed up here, we should have a centered workshop. Just like that. All right. So that's actually helped us to expand our top floor. So now when we come up, we can go ahead and do our workshop stuff right here. And that leaves this space open for if we want to like build out towards our farm. If we can actually probably make a second story where we have access from the second floor over to the farm somehow. I don't know exactly how I want to do that yet, but it should work. Yeah, this is starting to come together. I'm liking how this is looking. Oh, you know what I can do? Um, which side has more left over on it? Oh, this side has way more left over on it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that and I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. Yay! All right, now that is some actual progress. The only thing, like, this may actually change because this was built under the assumption that I'm gonna go out, gather a bunch of resource collectors, and then come back and drop them off. But with the way that I am going to be modifying my refining, my uh, harvesting vehicles, they're going to be doing the refining on the vehicle. So these refiners might become obsolete, but I'm going to keep them here for now just in case they serve some other use at some point. And this is an interactive parts chest, which I am going to put right here. Okay, so now I want to focus on this vehicle. I want to keep pretty much everything the same. I'm out of concrete, so I can't fill this in, and uh, we need more weight in the back. But in order to get more concrete, I need to do more mining. 
So I'm going to hope that I don't have to move my seat. I'm going to go with my scout vehicle and grab a couple of refineries, just like I have on here. And we're going to see if we can put these refineries. Actually, maybe I should have one refinery. I don't know how fast it'll be. We're going to do one refinery for now. We'll do a couple of tests with it, see how fast it picks up things. We also need to see if it even fits here. And then we'll uh, we'll go based off of that to see if we need another one. So how are we doing on fuel here? We're doing good. So let's go back to the mechanic station. Oh, no. Oh, let me just... Let me just put this on a lift and bring it over here. So now I'm going to go back to the mechanic station and buy myself a refinery, which I just realized needs metal. Maybe circuits. Maybe circuits. I'm going to bring some circuits too. You know, I'm, I know I'm going to get there and I'm going to be missing like a simple little ingredients and I'm going to have to come all the way back and do this trip all over again. I know it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I think I got into a, some problems over here or something. Look at this. I found some tier 3 metal and a light. That must have been a very long time ago. I don't even know what that's from. Ah, nostalgia. Do you guys remember the mechanic station from back in the good old days? This thing used to be such a mess. And actually, I still have all these, uh, all these vending machines here. All right, please tell me I have what I need to make a refiner component kits. Of course. Of course, component kits. Okay, you know what? There is a hay bot over here. He could drop a component kit, and then there's that structure right there that could have component kits in it. Nothing from him. That's not a good start. I don't want to have to drive all the way back to my base, but I'm probably going to waste more time trying to avoid driving back to my base than I would if I just drove back and got the component kits I already have. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Come on, come on, come on. One. Okay, that's a start. I won't complain about one. One is better than none. Yes, the ruin has something in it. Will it contain a component kit? This is all I need. Just one component kit. One more. Ah! You can you can drop one too. Nope. One component kit? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're good. That was fine. Uh, yeah, we actually saved a lot of time. I'm glad I didn't go back. All right. Yes, exactly enough for the refine bot. It's called refine bot or refinery? Refinery bot. All right, here it is. I'm just going to take the one for now, and I'm going to slap this guy right down there. Holy cow, that's a lot of weight. And let's head on back home. I probably should have slapped him. You know, I'm going to slap him on the front because we need weight on our steering. There we go. Yeah, this is much more controllable. I couldn't steer with him on the back. All right, we made it home with the refinery on our scout vehicle. Oh, it's so much more clear over here without that area. Okay, so let's see. How is this thing going to fit on here? Will it fit on here? No, it's not gonna fit. Um, it fits like that, but now I don't have enough room for a chest. And does that actually fit well enough though? Like, is this gonna interfere? Doesn't seem to actually interfere with that, which is nice. But I need to put a chest here. I hear somebody hitting something. Oh, what? He's going after. All right, you know what? It's Hank. It's Hank. Hank came back. Hi, Hank. Hey, your home's right. Hey, what happened? Oh, I took the lights off. I forgot. I got your. Uh, I got your home right here. I kept your room for. I kept your room just the way it was, minus the lights. Sorry, I took the lights out of your room. But hey, I'm glad to have you back, man. We missed you. We really missed you. Calbert brought him back. Good job, Calbert. Oh, he's looking out for me. He's like, my job here is done. Back home. We'll have to catch up soon. You have to tell me where, where you've been, what you've been doing. All right, I definitely need some light because it is dark up here at night. I'm going to have to put a ceiling on this area too so we can have some lights. I really wish we could craft those office lights and things like that. These lights just are not cutting it. We need more craftable lights, Scrap Mechanic. Okay, now let's see. Can I put this... I don't think I'm going to be able to... No, that's that's definitely colliding, isn't it? Ah! Um... No, 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 no. No? No. Oh, that was the wrong run-up. Oh, both of these. Both of these got to go down. Okay. Okay, so this means I just need to move my seats to the back of the vehicle. Okay, so this is working all right. All right, I have to move everything back. This is going to be inconvenient. I'm going to have to hook all this stuff up again, but I think it's going to be worth it. All right, everything is all hooked back up. So now the reason I want to move the refinery back is because I think resource collectors, in order to be positioned well enough for the refinery, I think they need to be closer 
to the front of the refinery than the back. So if it's right here, I don't think it'll actually collect. But if it's right here, I think it would. And this post was making that impossible for me to place it correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and put the refinery like right here. Could I actually fit one up in front if I wanted to? Oh, I could. If I can fit one right there, I really feel like I should. But if I want it to be symmetrical, then I kind of have to put another one over here, don't I? <laughs> All right, I think that's good. I just hope that there's enough weight in the back to prevent this thing from falling forward. Oh, my wheels are not rotating in the right directions just yet. There we go. All right, how's this? I definitely need to up the engines. I'm definitely going to need some more weight. Oh, man, look at how heavy it is up in the front. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase those. I need some more, uh, component kits. We need to upgrade that suspension. Oh, <laughs> I am not gonna get used to my craft station being up here for a little while. I keep going automatically over to the other area. Okay, let's head out and do some mining and see how this vehicle functions as is. And, uh, then we'll have enough concrete after mining, I hope. We'll have some concrete to be able to weigh down the back of this thing. I don't know where any rocks are. I haven't been mining in so long. It's been like a really, really long time since I've actually done any mining. But we should, hopefully one refinery is going to be fast enough to keep up with the rate that we can mine rocks. Oh, here we go. Here's some rocks. Oh, I've actually been here before. You can definitely see that I've been here before. I even have some leftover stuff already on the ground. All right, let me take care of these guys. Oh, I should have put drills on my vehicle. I forgot about the drills. Ah, no, 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 no. How do they just sneak up on you so well? <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, let's see if we can pull this off. I forget how to use this thing, but I'm going to try my best. All right, here we go. Oh, this is what keeps happening. I don't know what it is with this issue, but this has been happening to me all the time. Whenever I get to a big rock formation like this, as soon as I get close with my drills, all of my bearings just flop. See? And now I'm fine. Now that I backed away, everything's fine. But as soon as I get close to it again... Ready? Look at that. Everything flops. Everything just becomes super floppy. And I can't do anything. That's why I stopped here. That's why I stopped. Alright, come on. Back up, please. Just get... Ugh, I can't do it. Alright, we're gonna go with this rock over here, the smaller one. This one should be hopefully a little bit more digestible without floppy wheels. Yeah, I get it more with mining than tree logging for sure. All right, this is as much as I can zoom out. Oh, man. Oh, I'm still getting floppy wheels even with this. But look at that. We're breaking through it pretty well. I wish we were picking up the stuff easier, but I can't really put stuff in front of the drill. I can't put resource collectors like up in front of the drill very well. Holy cow. Look at all that stuff that just went on the ground. All right, let's start working our way through it. Oh yeah, that's going so much better. Man, my seat is so far back though that uh, it's hard It's hard to see up ahead of me. I wanna move my seat forward now. I think I might. I might move it right behind that, um, right behind the chest here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. All right, let's break down some of this rock. Now I can, yeah, now I can definitely see better. Yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is so good now. I think that they definitely did improve the um, the break the, the ability of the drills to break down the smaller pieces, which is excellent. All right, so let's just start breaking stuff down. All right, and we're refining as we're doing it, so it's actually like keeping up really, really well. The three resource collectors, I think, were overkill. Oh, I just realized I haven't actually hooked up my... I'm surprised that we just were able to control as much as we were able to control. Because I had zero steering that whole time. Alright, it's going to get dark here soon, unfortunately. So it's not going to be that effective to have a mining montage in the dark. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be picking stuff up in batches like this. Yeah, look at that. So we just picked up a whole bunch of rods. Most of them went into the front center container. But I don't really think it makes a difference which container it's going to go in. It's going to pull from all of them. So by the looks of it so far, one refinery might be plenty enough. So I'm just going to do my best to break down all this stuff. I might time lapse it, I might not, depending on how it looks with the lighting. But uh, here we go.
All right, and I think that's all of it. So that one's empty. The middle one, as you can see, has like one row, and then the side one is actually almost full. I actually like the layout that I have here when it comes to all this stuff. And the reason being is that I can pick up uh, resources from like a, an equal area all around the front of my vehicle. And I'm also noticing that we're doing pretty well considering the weight. I thought we were gonna be a little bit too front heavy with uh, maneuvering this drill. But man, look at all these rocks. I really wanna get in here, but every time I get close, my wheels just, they just die. Here, let's try it again now that that rock's gone. Ready? Yep, there we go. My wheel, Look at everything just flopped around. Look at this. It's ridiculous. I don't understand it. It breaks my creation. All right, so I'm just gonna do some manual labor here. I'm gonna break down all the loose rocks and see if um, if we get all these out of the way. Can we get some more, can we get some more stability out of this area? All right, I broke it down pretty much all the pieces I can find. So I'm just gonna take a resource collector from my vehicle and put it over here rather than trying to drive up here because there's just, there's just not a lot of driving possibilities happening over here. All right, this seems to be working out pretty well so far. And this will give us a our refinery a lot of work to do while we're trying to figure this whole situation out. All right, I think that's all of it. Let's see if we can now approach this rock formation without spaghettifying our vehicle. All right, ready? Here we go. Hmm. Nope. All right, we still got the floppy wheels, but I'm on it. Let's just turn on our drills and hope for the best. Oh no, oh no. Look at the floppiness. This is so bad. I think if I just, I think if I just stick with it and break it, oh my good, what? Okay, we can back away then. We can back away and focus on those right now. I think this is good. If we can break it down piece by piece, I think we'll get what we need. I think it'll gradually become more stable as uh, this rock formation becomes smaller and smaller. Because this is like one of the biggest formations I've seen, to be honest. All right, and we'll get to see how uh, how our refinery does with keeping up with all this. Man, look at all these rods, it's instant. This is excellent. Yeah, this is working really, really well. I'm feeling like they improved the drill contact a lot. I'm having a lot less issues with the drills just grinding against it with no effect. It seems to be much more instantaneously effective right now. I'm loving this. So much more satisfying. All they gotta do is fix the spaghettification of the bearings. That's the big issue for me right now. All right, let's go ahead and pick all this stuff up. Oh, yes. Excuse me, Cal. All right, that was good. That was actually pretty good. I'm gonna move to the other side. What if the other side is actually easier to approach? Oh, this side does not look much easier to approach, but let's see if the spaghettification still happens as I approach it. Here we go. So far, we're actually okay. All right, get on top here and bring it on down. There we go. Yeah, this side's better. This side works much better. Our bearings are so much more stable over here for whatever reason. All right, let's go and uh, let's time lapse this. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, it's not going well, guys. It is uh, it is not going well. Spaghetti spaghettification is in full force right now, as you can clearly see. <laughs> oh, scrap mechanic! You just you just can't treat me well, can you? Put all this work into my vehicles that are designed to just be efficient and time saving. And then you just gotta sprout this kind of stuff on me all the time, don't ya? All right, but you know what? I'm gonna stick with it. I'm just gonna bear through it and pretend like everything is all fine. Cause look, see, everything's fine. There's nothing, this is working 100% as intended. This is exactly how I envisioned this creation working since the outset. Um, my wheel fell off? Is that a thing that should, is, What? Wait, what am I holding right now? When did I take this chest? What? What is happening? I can't even... Hold on. Put the chest there. What just happened? How did my wheel fall off? Did this actually get damaged? Did something damage this? What could have damaged this? In this particular way? The suspension is gone. What, the suspension is in my inventory? I somehow removed the suspension from my wheel. Um, I guess I'll put it back. Fortunately, I think we just, we still have all the parts we need. 
But this is definitely slowing down the process here. Okay, there we go. This hooks up to that engine. And this hooks up to the C, and I think we're back at it. So, something weird happened where I don't think I was right-clicking, but... Yeah, you can pick stuff up while you're in your seat, which is not good. That shouldn't- that shouldn't be a thing that happens. Alright, how are we doing here? We're, we actually collected a lot of materials. You can see that it's still- the refinery's been refining that whole time. I can't collect with this little thing, though. Come on, let's just drive around and collect these. So, I'm not sure yet if we're gonna need two refineries. So far, we don't need two refineries. It's been able to keep up with the three resource collectors. Um, but that's including physics issues that we have to keep pausing and resolving. So, I'm gonna continue on now and hope that the floppiness doesn't ruin my vehicle again. Because, man, imagine if I deleted, like, a section of, like, the, ba the main mechanism and had to rebuild. That would be very, very unfortunate. Here, I'm gonna get rid of this corn so it's just not in the way anymore. All right, here comes the spaghettification. You ready? Yep, there it goes. It is so bad. Oh, scrap mechanic. All right, I'm just gonna try my best to deal with this and bear through it and uh, wish me luck. Wish my vehicle luck more like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys an update. Uh, it went so well that I've discovered I need a second refiner, because if you look, this is full. This is full. This is full. Everything is full. I can no longer pick up rods. I've been just decimating this entire uh, stone area. I still get the floppy bearings when I get too close to the center of it. I think right now there's too many loose pieces going around, but even with floppy bearings, I can still manage to keep breaking through sometimes. And uh, the bearings seem to repair, seem to go in and out of stability a little bit more uh, than they used to. It used to just be pure instability, but now it kind of goes back and forth. So it's slightly more stable than it was, but still, still kind of floppy. All right. Yeah, I decided I'm going to go ahead and head back um, and I'm going to drive and buy, buy another refine bot, refinery bot, and uh, see if we can improve this vehicle with a second refinery bot and then we'll go ahead and pick up all those rods all right i'm back home by the way how we doing look at this not a whole lot of metal to be honest i'm actually a little bit disappointed in the lack of metal we have three full lengths so far um so let's get some more i hank is still here by the way i'll go we'll go say hi to hank before we leave in our scout vehicle this one is doing excellent on fuel all right let's head on out uh hey hank See, he's still there. He's still having a good time. I, I'm surprised that sometimes he stays there. Like, even though I go far away and stay away for, like, days at a time, he somehow manages to stay exactly where I left him. Other times, he disappears. I don't really know. I don't really know what the, ter the determining factor is on that. Oh, 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 oh. I'm stupid. I forgot to actually bring the materials I need. I need metal, circuit boards, and component kits. Ooh, and I just realized while I'm here, I might as well take um, all this stone and metal and put that... Oh, let me prioritize the stone, though, over the metal. And I'm going to put this into um, my craft bot and start crafting concrete. All right, there we go. That's all the stone. 
All right, there we go. Now we can have concrete on repeat. So if I'm ever in the draw distance of my home base, then we'll be making a bunch of concrete until I run out of water. All right, now off we go with the appropriate materials. Okay, and we are back with our new piece of equipment. Very heavy piece of equipment. All right, so how are we going to reorganize this so that we can actually refine everything? So I feel like I have to put like one resource collector right there and then one over here, but then I don't think it's gonna pull from this middle one. Actually, we can test that out. Let's put the full one right up in the middle here. There's no actual center point for this, unfortunately. So we put that right there. Is that close enough to pull from? If I put this refinery, hold on. Ah, ah, no. And then I put this refine. No, see, it's not pulling from it. This isn't gonna work. Oh, it just did. Wait, then can I move this object is busy here? Let's get that. Oh, that's why. <gasps> yes. Oh, this is so good. This just got so good right now. All right, so then that can go right there and I need another chest to put over on the other one. I'm liking this. This worked out way better than I expected it to be. It's gonna go through so much faster. All right, and before we go out, I got some of the concrete that I was crafting and that way we can finish off uh, the holes back here. So this no longer looks all bad. All right, let's go. Of course, now that the sun is setting again, I always have the worst timing when it comes to building versus going out and doing things. Man, this is so much heavier now. I gotta increase our speed. All right, I still have some extra gas too, so this should be fine. But um, yeah, this will be interesting. Let's see how this one goes as far as gas consumption uh, is concerned. All right, hopefully the weight doesn't make the floppy bearings worse. But oh, here's a rock way over here. Let's get this one first. And then we're gonna go pick up all those other things. Whoops, there we go. Oh man, it's so fast. Just plows right through it. Let's pick up all these extra rods. Should cut down on the leg as we get in here. There we go, this is nice. Oh, oh, we're already getting the floppy bearings. Come on, make it through, make it through. Oh man, look at the floppiness. All right, there we go, picking up more rods. Look at how full the resource containers are already. We haven't even done any more mining. This is just all the stuff I had laying around that I couldn't pick up before. I'm just gonna charge up this hill at all these resources. Here we go. Oh, what did we hit? Oh, wow. Oh, the floppy bearings made us bottom out, unfortunately. All right. Well, here we go. Back to mining. Oh my goodness. Look at the floppiness. When is it gonna end? It's only really happened on this node. It hasn't been really happening on any of the other rocks when, I, when they separate from the node or any of the ones around the area. Oh, there we go. Our floppiness isn't happening now. It's actually working really well right now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking. Holy cow, we just got pushed out by um, a rock coming out of the ground. Look at that. It's so satisfying when that happens. It's like an iceberg. Like, you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. And then once you break it down, the whole iceberg comes up out of the ground. All right, so I'm going to mine this through the night. And we're going to see, uh, after I've gone through all the mining, how are the refiners keeping up speed-wise with my resource collecting? Are they going to be able to keep up at a good rate, or am I going to run out of resource collector room again? I did it. 
the whole rock I think is gone and check it out um our refineries have actually we are these are less full our resource collectors are less full than they used to be so clearly the refineries are able to keep up like I think this is a perfect mining vehicle now like I had oh here's some more rocks over here let might as well get through these too like I don't have to return after a trip I can pretty much mine until I don't feel like mining anymore I I, I guess it depends on if I have enough fuel with me fuel would be the other big equalizer so I'm gonna do my best to get through this rock node here and uh then I'm gonna call it a day after this all right, I'm finally returning back home. The refiners did an amazing job. They kept up perfectly with uh, what I was doing. They actually, they're actually doing it faster than I can even mine. So let's take a look at what we got now. So I'm gonna get all my stone out of here. And I guess some of this stuff, we'll keep the metal in here for now. There we, oh, I am all out. Here, let me go ahead and refuel, get rid of some of that. Let me eat a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I actually ran out of uh, milk. I don't have any more milk left. All right, so as far as metal goes, we pretty much have this and this, and then the rest was all stone. So let me go ahead and deposit the stone back into these craft bots up here, and we'll continue crafting some concrete. Actually, am I am I all out of material for concrete? Where's concrete? Yeah, I am all out of water, but we still have plenty of uh, stone, apparently. We have more than a thousand stone left, I guess. So we're gonna have to get ourselves some water soon. Oh, hey, look at this. Hank is making friends. He has a cow friend and a little greeny. <laughs> they just came to hang out with Hank. They're not, no, no, no one is even being hostile towards each other. They're all getting along just fine. They're not even being hostile towards me. This is, that is a weird experience right there. Okay, all right. Well, good job guys. I'm proud of you. All right, so we did a lot of little updates to the base and now we have a brand new, well not brand new, we have a improved mining vehicle now. A refined and redesigned mining refining vehicle. All right, so if you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more awesome survival content or other cool stuff on the channel, go ahead and check out this stuff on the end screen right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.